middle-aged women are drinking more than men. That shocks the hell out of me. The secret has to stop. The shame has to stop. Alcoholism can strike anyone, and it can be your mother, your sister, your daughter. Midlife women in our society don't get seen, don't get hurt, listened to. Uh, they're the doers. They're the backbone. And that backbone is collapsing. Why do we think that alcohol is the answer? Because it's accepted as a way to relax, um, as a way to unwind. We use it as a false reward, you know, I just, oh, I'll just get through the day and then I'll have a, a drink, you know. I think alcohol is used as a, you know, a bit of a, a carrot dangling at the end of the day. It's our reward for a, a hard day's work or, you know, we just think, oh, I'll just get through this and then I can have a glass of wine at the end, you know. But it's, a, it's okay for some people, but for others it's a slippery slope. Number one, alcohol is a toxin. So when you drink alcohol, the process brings a toxin into the body and it chases red blood cells and it kills the red blood cells and they're the ones that carry oxygen. So basically you're getting less oxygen to the brain and that's the first system that actually is affected by alcohol. Women are unfortunately only now, and it's also, on, and the medical system only now, is registering that their system is destroyed, but more importantly, their ability to think and plan and do it rationally is affected because of the cognitive damage to the brain. People don't realise the amount of alcohol in certain drinks. If they're drinking beer, it might be 5 to 6% alcohol. Wine is now 13.5% alcohol. It used to be 8. More alcohol has been placed in wine. Therefore, you are drinking drink for drink. They're drinking twice as much alcohol as the men. If we drink less than five standard drinks in a whole week, it's unlikely to have dramatic impact. It's unlikely to change your brain. Alcohol changes your brain. So I think that's, that's where people are in the health and medical field. They believed that two drinks was okay, and we now know that only one drink is okay. Per day? Per day, and hopefully you have three days without alcohol. So I can't say people shouldn't drink at all because it's a legal drug, but I don't think it should be easy to get. And we need society looking at the way to self-care without introducing a, a mind-altering drug. I want to remove the shame from, from addiction. You know, it's just like any other problem you can have. If you break your leg, you don't hesitate going to the doctor to get it sorted out. So why should this be any different? We don't criticise 
ourselves for, for breaking our leg or, you know, for our body letting us down. So I just don't think this should be any different. I want people to go forward and seek help.